hello students i hope you all are doing well and you people are keep learning and doing progress in your life so this is the another video of the question answers of chapter 2 microorganisms friend and foe taken from class 8 science here i am going to explain some more questions taken from this chapter so these questions are short answer questions type first question is name any two diseases caused by microorganisms in plants and animals okay you have to answer the name of the diseases occur in plants and animals caused by the microorganisms so as you know the microorganisms which cause the disease they are called pathogens they are called pathogens disease causing microorganisms are called pathogens and pathogens can cause the diseases plants in plants as well as in animals both and as you know in human beings also so the plant diseases you can write citrus canker disease here you can see this disease occur in the plants which produce this um acidic or uh, sour um, fruits like lemon okay and rust of wheat another example you can write rust of wheat this is caused by the fungus in animal disease you can write anthrax occur in the cattle and like you can see this cattle is suffering from anthrax and i think this animal got died due to this disease second uh, animal disease you can write foot and mouth diseases caused by virus you can see this the sore and blisters found on the mouth of animals now the next question is mention any two uses of algae algae is a kind of microorganism which are autotrophic they have green pigments they can make their food by themselves so what are the two uses so we get a substance from the algae named as algin this algin we take from the algae and it acts like a thickening agent for food processing and from algae we can produce the plant fertilizers as well next question is list the different methods of food preservation so as you know there are several methods by which we can preserve our food like boiling sun drying dehydration smoking by using salts and sugar by using oil by using vinegar and pasteurization by boiling the microorganisms can be killed by sun drying we do mm, dehydration so that the microorganisms cannot grow in dehydration we dehydrate the food item by different methods so that the microorganism cannot grow in that food and we can prevent the spoiling smoking by the smoking we can preserve the food items by using salt and sugar we can inhibit the growth of microorganism and by using oil vinegar like we use the oil in pickles to keep them safe from the microorganism for a longer duration we use vinegar and as you know the very famous method of milk preservation that is pasteurization in which we uh, boil the milk and then suddenly we chill it cool it and store it next is what are the different shapes in which bacterial cells are found and what are these known as the bacterial cells can be found in different shapes so the main basic shapes are here okay so this is the first is bacilli which is uh, which occurs in rod shaped okay bacteria is found in rod shaped the second is cocci in which the shape of the bacteria is rounded spherical and uh, 
and third one is vib vibri in which the shape of the uh, bacteria is in the form of comma and sprilla is the shape of bacteria which is uh, which occurs in the form of spring next question is what are the different methods by which fungi can reproduce so the fungus can reproduce by several methods the few uh, two very common method is budding and spore formation this is budding uh, yeast cell yeast is a uh, is a type of fun fungus and it develops buds like this and this new bird can grow into a new uh, organism and chains of bird can also be formed next method is spore formation and they make a sporangium in which lots of uh, circular spores are found spherical spores are found when these spores get the favorable condition they grow into a new fungus next question is how is food poisoning caused the answer is food poisoning also called as food bone illness is the illness caused by eating contaminated food infectious organisms including bacteria viruses and parasites and their toxins cause the food poisoning we when we intake the contaminated food the food that are contaminated by these microorganism then it causes problems in our body and that is called food poisoning like we can feel vomiting nausea dizziness stomach pain etc infectious organism or the toxins can contaminate it, contaminate food at any point of processing or production and contamination can also occur at home if food is incorrectly handled or cooked the contamination the infection uh, of the food by the microorganism can occur at any time at any place if we do not handle the food correctly advantages of food preservation you have to write the advantages of food preser preservation why do we preserve the food because it reduce the food wastage reducing the food wastage when we preserve the food the waste of the food reduces okay uh, by preservation we can uh, we can uh, maintain the availability of food supply especially out of season at every place when we preserve the food then we can make it available in the um, season when that food is not available increasing the storage period of food is tough uh, by preservation we can increase the storage period for food stuff we can use the food for a longer duration and we can make up for a dietary inadequacies by preservation now how can we prevent the following diseases cholera typhoid hepatitis a what are the preventive measures we can use to escape from these diseases so cholera uh, if you want to pre prevent yourself from cholera then you should uh, prevent yourself from eating the exposed food you should drink the boiled water okay and you should maintain the personal hygiene and vaccination is another method to prevent this disease next typhoid if you want to uh, save yourself from typhoid then you should follow the good sanitary habit you must keep yourself hygienic and your habit must be good and sanit uh, you should follow the rules of sanitation and prevention of consumption of exposed food to flies because flies are the vector of typhoid bacteria that's why you must not eat the exposed food on which the flies are uh, moving you should drink the boiled water and vaccination can also be done to prevent this disease hepatitis a for 
preventing the hepatitis a vaccination is available and you should drink the boiled water because the viruses of hepatitis b live in the water if the water is contaminated with this virus you can get this disease so you should boil this water before drinking to save yourself from hepatitis a so this cholera and typhoid are the bacterial disease and this hepatitis is a viral disease so uh, these diseases are communicable disease and to prevent this these communicable disease you must follow the good sanitation habit okay there is the another question while returning from the school there there was a child named as bujho ate chart from a street hawker when he reached home he felt ill and complained of stomach ache what could be the reason so there was a child named as bujho when he was returning from the school he ate chaat from the street hawker and after reaching the home what did he feel he felt ill and complained about the stomach ache what is the reason of stomach ache could be so the reason will be food poisoning because that chart was exposed and it was opened and it uh, it could be contaminated by the different kind of microorganism and when that microorganism get into the body of bujho with the chart then that microorganisms caused the food poisoning and because of that food poisoning that bujho uh, complained the stomach ache next and last question is what will happen to puris and unused needed flour if they are left in the open for a day or two okay there are some puris and some unused needed flour and they both are left in the open for a day or two what will happen in both the cases so the unused needed flour if left in warm conditions gets infected by microbes which cause fermentation and spoil the flour the microorganism will attack this unused needed flour and they will perform fermentation and they will spoil the flour and the puris would remain in regular uh, relatively good condition this is relatively relatively good condition because they were deep fried in uh, and heated in heated uh, oil that kills the micro uh, microbes the puris were uh, deep fried so the microbes uh, were not there so that uh, puri can remain in good condition for a longer duration in compares in comparison to the unused needed flour because it was not it it uh, there will there is a possibility that it contains lots of microorganism so it will it will uh, be spoiled earlier than the puris now this is all for this video i hope you have learned something and this will help you in your revision for the upcoming exam till then keep learning keep shining and believe in yourself thank you